us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at section C of the August 2022 science paper 1. Let us look at question C2. During an experiment, Elena used a liquid in grass thermometer to check on how heat was affecting the temperature of water. Table C2.1 shows temperatures of water at specified times. Question A. What is temperature? So basically, uh, this question is just asking us to define what temperature is. So for A, we can answer from this part. So when we talk about temperature, we are talking about the measure of the hotness or coldness of a given object. That's the temperature. So what is key is the measure of hotness or coldness. So uh, in this case, specifically, we are going to say it is the measure of the degree as in how cold, how hot, degree of hotness or coldness of a given object. That's uh, basically temperature. So what is key here is it's the measure of the degree of hotness or coldness of an object. That is what is key. One is a measure of how what or cold something is. So keywords measure of the degree. The degree is the one which is answering the how. Then of either coldness or hotness of a given object. That's the temperature. So remember those key things that need to come out in your definition. Regardless of how we write it, but these need to come out. Question B, Loma number 1. Plot a graph of temperature in degrees against time in seconds. So remember, this is it. The y-axis, the first one. Then the second one is in the x-axis. Remember always in physics, the first variable to be mentioned is in the vertical axis. Then the last one is in on the x-axis. So this is the x-axis. Then this is the y-axis. The x-axis is moving from 0 to uh, 360. So the difference is 360 minus 0, which is 360 then they are increasing the equal interval. So this one can maintain 60, 60 throughout 60 intervals. Then we look at this side is from 21.5 to 53. So basically what you notice in this case we are having 53 minus 21.5. This is going to give us a basically a 30. 1.5 so what we can do is basically we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we can start from 20 then increase in the interval of 5 5 so that we go up to 55 once we go up to 55 55 will be somewhere here then this one you can extend it so that you see basically uh, 420 so once we do that we can go and plot this on the graph paper because we need to ensure that these intervals increase in the same unit and in the same unit so that the graph is scaled. Otherwise, we are not going to get uh, anything sensible. So what is key is ensure that these are increasing in the same units. In this case, it's much more straightforward because they are all increasing in 60, 60. So do the same this side. So 5, 5. So let me move straight to the graph paper where we are going to do the uh, graphing and answer the rest of the questions. This is, we said x-axis, this is y-axis. So make sure that the x-axis is labeled clearly time in seconds. Similarly, the y-axis is labeled clearly temperature in degrees Celsius. 
Then remember we said these will increase in the interval of 60, 60 up to uh, basically 420, which is uh, the next highest number. So this is uh, 420 increasing in the interval of 60, 60, and this is 0, 0. Then similarly, because this is starting from 21.5, we are going to do a kink here. A kink shows that we jump some numbers because it will be uh, not necessary to indicate everything. So what is important is the numbers are running from 20 to 55. So that's how you are seeing here. So show that kink, the examiner will understand. Then uh, we are increasing them in the interval of 5, 5. You see from 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 45, 50, 55. Then you label this nicely. Once you do that, uh, you see much more easier and straightforward. So let us start approaching these coordinates. So we have a uh, time zero, then uh, the value is 21.5. So now if these are increasing in the interval of fives, what it means is there are 10 subunits, so 5 divided by 10, so each subunit is 0 0.5 units. So if you are looking at 0, 21.5, we go on 20, then we add 3 subunits. 3 subunits, so at 1, 2, 3, so it will be uh, somewhere here, the starting point. Because 3 times 0 0.5, it will be uh, 1.5 plus 20, 21.5. Next, 60,27. So 60,27, so we are going to go to 25. For us to reach 27, we need to move 2 subunits plus 2 subunits, which is uh, 4 subunits to get to 27. Because it will be 4 multiplied by 0 0.5, so we get a 2. 2 plus 25, it will be 27. So 27 will be somewhere here. Then next, we go to 120,32. 120,32. So on 30, on 30, we just add uh, 4 subunits again, so that it's a uh, 32. So it will be somewhere here. Then we move to 180,37, so it will be 35, then 37 is basically again 4 subunits above 35, so that is 37, somewhere here. Then we go to 240,42.5, so we go to uh, 240 along this line, then 42.5, it will be somewhere at the halfway of this, that's where 42.5 is. Then we go to 300, so 300, comma 47.5. So 300 is along this line, then uh, 47.5. So 45, we add 2.5 under subunits. We are going to go just halfway here. Then we go to 360, comma 53. 360,53, so 53 will be uh, basically 6 subunits. So it will be somewhere here. Then when you join this, we are going to get a straight line that fit not on all points, but slightly fit on almost all the points. A line like that. So this is what you do to get a basically these four marks. Then B Loma numero two use the graph to determine the temperature of water at 210 seconds. So we are looking for 210 seconds. So the first thing that we need to do is locate where 210 is. So this is a 240. Remember these are increasing in the interval of 60. So each subunit to be 60 divided by 10 because there are 10 subunits in between here, here and here. So divided by 10 we are going to get 60 units. So each subunit is 6. So if we are at 180, for us to get to uh, 210, we need uh, basically the halfway between 240 and 180. So because it will be 240 minus 30 to give us 210, or 180 plus 
30 to give us 210. So we are just at the 5, 5 subunits exactly. So that is 30. So it will be uh, along this one, which is 5 subunits, it will be somewhere here. So now along this line, we we'll go up all the way to find where it is crossing the graph. So the graph is crossing somewhere here at this point. Let me use the blue one so that you are able to see the difference. So you see somewhere here. Then you come here and join this one, this line where it is meeting. You do a sketch. You, you can use a ruler. Me, I'm sketching there. Then look for this value. So this value, what value is that? So if you look, this value is just a one subunit before 40, and this subunit is 0 0.5. Remember, 0 0.5. So it will be a basically 40 minus 0 0.5, which is basically 39.5. So the value here will be 39.5 as in the answer to B Loman numero 2. Look at question C1. It was observed that at 75 degrees Celsius, the temperature of water stopped rising while the supply of heat continued. Explain this observation. So basically what you notice in this case, what is key here is the temperature stopped rising while the supply of it continued. So the temperature only stopped rising if the liquid has reached the boiling point. So this phenomenon is basically what is known as the boiling point. So the boiling point is basically the temperature at which the liquid starts changing from water to a gaseous state that's it, the boiling point so at that boiling point even if you increase the supply of heat energy the temperature will not go beyond that because there is a change of state so this phenomenon is basically a boiling point and it's the point at which um, there is a change in the state of a substance from a liquid state to gaseous state so that's it, the case. Loman numero 2 of C. If the liquid used for the above experiment was pure water, state why it boiled at 75 degrees Celsius. So we know that a pure water, pure water would basically boil at 100 degrees Celsius. So now why would it boil at below 100 degrees Celsius? So the reason why it would boil below 100 degrees Celsius is uh, basically the effect of uh, pressure. Remember that there is a direct relationship between the uh, amount of pressure available and uh, the boiling point. So in this case, possible explanation is that the water was boiled in an area with low pressure. So because low pressure reduces the boiling point of a given liquid. So why is it the case? So uh, because um, if the pressure is basically low, the amount of energy needed for the particles of substance to um, oppose the downward pressure and escape the resolution will be uh, lower. Hence, the boiling point reduces. So, in this case, uh, the possible explanation is the fact that the water, the pure water, must have been boiled in a low pressure environment because low pressure reduces the boiling point of any given substance. Loman numero 3 of C suggest a liquid that would have been used in the liquid in a grass thermometer for the experiment. So uh, in this case the liquid that could have been used is mercury. Mercury is normally what is used most uh, of the times in a grass thermometer because 
it expands quickly so this liquid could have been mercury so basically this is how you answer this question to get the 10 marks